Hello everyone, it has been a while. I just wanted to add something extra to my upward video which I uploaded about a week ago. So I just want to let Ghanaians especially grasp the potential that this site and other freelancing sites have. I promise I'll go deep into Fiverr and everything but not yet. I just want to give a little sneak peek as to what you can find as a Ghanaian online in terms of making money online so the thing about Upwork and these freelancing sites is people in the US don't normally go for it because it takes a while before you can earn some amount of money where you can live off rent you can do things like they do over there because in the US rent is quite high and it's the bills the system is different they expect to be paid much more than the little dollars but in Ghana on the other hand a little can be a huge amount like I showed in my last video like how I demonstrated in my last video so for the US it will take a while to get to a level where you can freelance full-time and some people are actually freelancing full-time and if you're in Ghana you can reach the level of freelancing full-time if you apply yourself and that's where I'm trying to reach in life so I'm just here to demonstrate to you that instead of applying in the job amounts and the vacancies in Ghana and those things for no hope, just those things that don't really have much hope, just check out Upwork. And this is what happens when you type Ghana, I'm going to take you through a few jobs. This is an administrator marketing assistant job in Ghana, it's $5 an hour, that's the pay. This is what you have to do, social media, website, marketing that's it you can apply for this and get only five to ten people have applied imagine those jobs on linkedin hundreds of people applying in a matter of minutes and hours this has been here for 19 days only 10 people have applied two freelancers are needed so you're only battling with 10 people if you apply for this job and you'll be earning five dollars an hour for 30 plus hours a week even if it's 30 hours a week five times 30 $150. $150 a week is a decent amount. So that's, yeah, you, you do the math. I'll put the math there on the screen. And the month is times four. So that's what you add from just being a, a social media. So let's go to something more technical. Legal consultancy in Ghana, $60 and $136 hourly. Hourly. So if you're into law, if you are into law, you study law, and you happen to stumble on this, this is a gold mine for you. And this is all that you have to do. It's here. Provide us with a legal opinion for being a financial institution in Ghana. The company are looking to establish should be able to interact with the local payment providers, apply its merchants, and collect the funds locally. That's it. It may exceed long-term contracting habits. So this is a jackpot for anyone in the law in the legal field. Here we have a virtual assistant from selected countries. This is a job where they want 100 influencers in your country, email and name and send. So if you want to make a cool $20, just get all the influencers in Ghana, their email addresses and their names, just 100. You get a cool $20. I won't do this because it is kind of beneath me, to be honest. I'm too busy for this. Another one. When payments are verified, I suggest you stay away from it because the person hasn't uh, logged in a uh, payment details such as a PayPal account or credit card to the website, so it's not yet official. They could run away with your money, but you can see this, all this. Personal assistant, $300 a month, I think. Just see global. This is a typical job. $300 a month. Uh, just personal assistant stuff only less than five people have applied and you may even ask for an increment in salary because we discuss an interview the budget is just for reference if this is just for reference you can negotiate for more than this and this is what four days ago so it's still very fresh you can run and get your registration on I mean your application on this is quite trash meet and discuss with you know yeah, nobody's meeting you combine logo i could apply for this but i won't 
because I always see Ghana is not my target market for my services. Because I've not got any room to trust Ghanaians. In fact, some verify it makes it much more of a red flag. All the six days, six days, so many jobs, and you can look at the proposals, the number of people who have applied. So little. Someone in Malaysia looking for someone to just to test their network with an MTN uh, SIM card, their website or whatever. So just from typing Ghana. You know, and I can show you a list of Ghanaian talents. And just type Ghana. And you will see the amazing things some Ghanaians are secretly doing on Upwork. 89% job success, $30 an hour, 2K and this guy has $3,000 and $2,000 and this girl, $3,000 and $1,000 plus $20,000, $200 and $10,000 and so you can see that there are many Ghanaians making things from this Upwork stuff. But I don't want to go into it too much. The aim will just show you the jobs available in the recent times. And it's just a uh, part two to the video on the possibilities of Upwork. So, like I said, I do not recommend Upwork for beginners because of the Connect system. Basically, the Connect system is um, you you are giving Connects when you register on Upwork. Yes, you are giving 40 Connects, right? You're giving 40 Connects. Out of those 40 Connects, some jobs require you to pay six Connects. Some jobs required to pay four connects some jobs too the higher the connects you pay for each proposal the more juicier the potential of earning is so six connect jobs are for jobs that will or may give you a good payment so when those connects get finished you need to use your own money to pay for extra connects and it's 15 cents per connect or so so you are actually paying to apply for jobs when you start fresh, you get 40 connects. That's why I don't recommend Upwork for starters. I recommend it for people who have some portfolio or have some background, something to fall back on and say, hey, I've done this before, check this landing page, or hey, check this freelancing, web, my freelancing profile on this website. And you can get much more depth in your application, your proposals. That's the main reason why I say do not start with Upwork. You can start and get lucky and make it. But the connect system will be a stumbling block and you may have to be ready to pay money to get more connects to propose to more jobs like these. But the connects, you get 10 connects for free if you are in, in your, your proposal gets a reply. So if the person you are proposing to replies in your inbox, you get 10 free connects. So that's, that's something I, I realized this year and it has helped me a lot. So I haven't paid for Connect in a while because as long as I get a reply for my proposal, then boom, I get 10 free Connect. So I spend 6, I get 10 back. It's a good deal. Anyway, I don't want to keep this video too long. I just wanted to show you what you see if you type Ghana and Upwork and the number of proposals that you see for each possible job right here and that's this uh, part two to the upwork video i released about a week ago and like i said i will be going into fiverr more that's the site that's a platform i recommend for any beginner because they give you 10 free bids each day for free you can bid for 10 jobs for free each and every single day that's incredible so let me know what you want to see more of in the comments below like comment subscribe please subscribe for more tips this is what the channel is about i just want to provide you with quality content that can blow your mind i can make you go like oh i see and shout out to all my 20 subscribers the last video i had about 18 now i have 20 i'm very grateful and see you on the next one see you on the next one